Hello and welcome back to my series where I try to become the strongest warlock there is in Minecraft. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, some of my things have changed a little bit. I have added a couple of new mods. Um, this was a little bit harder setup than I thought it was going to be. As you can see, I have way more deaths added again. <laughs> That's like what? six deaths now so we're going to remove these and uh try to survive again now these mobs uh according to the i think it's the rpg mod they'll spawn and they gain xp according to how much how far they are away from me i guess that's the way it describes it can I sleep? Okay. So, I need a little bit more. I need a little bit more in order to survive. And I keep on killing my blockling. Every time I end up grabbing a blockling, I kill it. So, my goal is to go ahead and set up a base, get it all situated and everything, and then go from there. Now, that being said... Sometimes you can't always do that. I had big plans. I had big ideas. And certain things that I wanted. Now, in order for me to do some of that, I need to close off a, a few certain areas. Apparently, what did, where did I put my stuff? I had stuff. What is it? Page up? Okay, I had the blood altar and I had the petal apothecary. Now, one mod that I can't figure out which one it is, and maybe it's not instigated in this um, version, was to go ahead and get the the little dark spawn, I guess you could say, where you put it down on the earth and it's wherever the ground turns black it goes ahead and spawns i don't think it might have been instigating this but the thing is i've only got 22 health and these creatures are kicking my butt i mean they're straight up just whooping me now one mod i ended up adding just recently was um minions where i can get body parts like you just saw right there necromancy and i can create my own i kind of saw that as fitting in perfect with the witchery and that's what i'm trying to do i'm not trying to go ahead and go all high tech or anything i'm i'm trying to fit just mods in that affect witchery now what i've ended up doing is i've dug out this little area and i'm still putting the walls up and i want to go higher but this is the base level so everything right here is going to be the base level. Right there in the center where the house is, is going to be the center tower. Which is going to end up having where it's all my magic and everything. But, the thing is, I have to get started on certain things in order to progress a little bit further in order to survive. So in order for me to do that, i got to go ahead and keep going. Because I've only dug out a little bit and when you don't have Tinker's Construct and all the mods that it adds and everything and the fast digging, it takes a while to go ahead and go through it. Now my goal still ends up being the same, which let's see if I can get over the wall and show you. Let's see, I need a pickaxe. I've been going through stone pickaxes. That's what I've been trying to only use. And it works to a certain oh I didn't mean to do that certain to a certain extent, and I still have little lag spikes, just minor. But here's the area I've done so far. I know that that this area right here is not going to be done like really quick. Now I'm trying to do it off camera. I've got it all marked out. I've got it all where I want to go ahead and do. And once I get it done, then I can go ahead and focus on other stuff. That village, the what's left of it, I want to have to be the cobalt. 
so I can take them and have them do whatever I want to. And then I want to bring the villagers into this area over here so I can feed whenever I do become a vampire. So that's the goals as far as this little area right here. And I'm going to build the walls up and make a sort of tower. I'm trying not to go ahead and expand out too far and explore too far. But I do need to go ahead and find the between lands um, area, basically. The between lands spawn location so I can go ahead and put a tree in this location. Now, I do have, my goal is to have, like, this section that's around the tower. Like, one will be Batania, and then another one will be, like, um, where I put the tree. Because I want the tree inside of my little walls. So, it's all, you know, what you end up doing and what you end up getting. But we got to go ahead and focus on some of the stuff we do have now. So I would like to go ahead and get some lighting in here. Let's see. Now this mod was just to add a necromancy. So we're not going to get into that for a while. And we're going to mess around with some of the creatures and make some weird, you know, amalgams of creatures. So they follow me and stuff like that i thought that would be really cool but we're still doing a lot less damage so we're finding our battles and choosing which ones we can do and which ones we can't which there's a lot we can't do now once uh the blood moon ends up hitting i often find times where you know i come out afterwards and the spiders still attack me so that is an issue but right now we can't really worry about that and I am gathering a lot of resources that I'm going to end up putting in a big storage area. But according to my like calculations and everything I've drawn out, if this is the base level I'm going at, it's going to destroy all that stuff. It's going to be a lot lower. So we're going to end up continuing clearing out on both sides. And then we're going to go ahead and focus on the center tower now the first mod that i would like to do is i would still like to have on one of these green spots the uh the witchery mod and then like have the uh the like circles and everything outside so i would have like the altar right here and then the circles outside the wall and then another thing i would like to end up doing is batania would be in one of these green areas and it would focus the energy down and into some of the caverns. And then blood magic is going to be in the first one in the center. I think that's what I'm going to do. Blood magic and evil craft. So that's the idea as far as all that stuff goes. But I'm going through a lot of stone pickaxes and stone shovels and everything. Now, I've got this. Uh, this is what is it called um i can't remember battle gear in something so that is in the mod now where i can put that shows up on the left and the right and when i click this i can put a sword a shield a bow and whatever and so on and so on we're going to see how that ends up working most of the mods i added in were just kind of like on the side they weren't really like spawning anything. They were kind of just focusing on some of the stuff we already had. Now, I wanted to get some more natural light. Now, according to this right here, one thing that we can end up doing, and Nero sent it, afflictions in some of the mods. So that is to be expected. But... We look at this and we go to index and we want to get mana started and going later on. But one thing we, we got pure daisies. We're going to go ahead and put those out and get some wood and some stone around them to keep on generating stuff. But at the same time, where is the one I'm looking for?
It's not glimmering flowers. No. I know what it ends up being. It's basically... Uh, uh, let's see. Hold on. I do have some glowstone. Not in that chest. This is all just like brought down. I did add in chocobos because I didn't think I had enough riding ones. There's no animal mods, but I do have a unicorn right here. And these cages are holding like two cows right now, two chickens, one sheep, and unicorn. I want to put those on the outside of the main tower. So let's go ahead. We're going to take this down. We're going to take this down. This down, this down, and this down. Because I think that's what we're going to end up starting on. And then, wait, there's no flowers in there? Where's all my flowers for Botania? And see, that's the thing. Right now, I have no organization. It's just kind of all thrown in. Here's the witchery one, which we're going to keep on continuing on that. That is our main focus. But... In order to survive, we need to get some pets. We need to get some guys that are going to go ahead and defend us. Because, like the blocklings, uh, they keep dying because I end up hitting them. And I keep killing them. So that is a thing. I knew it was going to happen. I can't prevent it. And I'm not seeing anything that I'm needing out of this. Maybe I don't have all the flowers in there. Because, right, that's food. That's all flowers all together. And my Batania section doesn't have enough stuff in it. And I want to get organization. I seriously do. That's the ores we have at the moment. Which we're going to focus on that too. Keep on advancing and keep moving up. If you have any suggestions on what mods to go ahead and use first, feel free to go ahead and drop it and download. Witchery. Where was the... Batania? I didn't mean to do that. That's food. That's just different crops. And see that? I hate not having organization. That's just odds and ends of everything. This one's uh, blocks. This one's crypt stuff and everything. And that's witchery. This is ores. That's wood. This is built stuff. So I've already looked at all the chests. Where did I put the Batania one? I just went ahead and pulled some stuff out of it. How can I not find it? Okay, anyways. I do have my little flower pouch here. Do I need to sleep? I might need to sleep. There you go. Now this is interesting, the fact that it is 1.7.10, and I haven't played this in a long time. So therefore, there's a lot of stuff that is kicking my butt basically all right so one thing we want to go ahead and do we want to go ahead and put this we want two of these and then we want two of these and then we want this right here is it three or two i think it's three so let's go ahead and make three Put this right here so we can advance Batania a little bit more. It seems to be our first starter to get all ritual. That's the Wand of the Force. So that gets us the Wand of the Force. Now, if I'm not mistaken, if I click this, and I'm going to use Mythical Blue. If I put two... Well, actually, how did I end up doing that? If I do this, this gives me a glimmering blue flower, which it means I can go ahead and place it out and it will glow and provide it's like sunlight and everything. Now, if I end up, 
let's look in this book and we'll find where um, floating flowers are. Many manipulation, generating flora, functional flora. Is it flunk functional flora? I don't think so. No. And I haven't been through all this stuff in a while. Every time I add botania, I don't use it that much. And I'm trying not to go ahead and do it this time. But at the same time, I keep on looking over stuff. Now, the pure daisies, the ones we have, we want to put the wood out and everything like that. So there is that. And then it's supposed to be like hovering flowers. Generating. It's not man manipulation, I don't think. No. What about generating flora? Nope. But we're going to end up putting a lot of those out. Functional flora? No. And it all comes down to me just going ahead and going through this stuff and remembering where it is. Because I found it earlier and I was like, oh, well, that's not going to be a problem. That's not what I want either. That just shrinks the flowers. So if I go into here, hovering hourglass, sparks, we got the Primus loci. Sorry, I, I was actually yawning because I haven't been to sleep in a long time. I'm like on caffeine and beer at the moment. Is it pasture seeds? Oh gosh, I hate this because I accidentally right click sometimes and it ends up making me where I don't do good. It's not pasture seeds. It might be pasture seeds. I have to look at that again. All right, first things first, we got to go ahead and start getting some mana going. I hit the wrong button. Okay. We get mana going and then we can go ahead and make more stuff as far as advancing Batania. Because I think Batania is going to end up benefiting us more starting out. Now we also want to go ahead and get this going. Which I have a dagger I already made but I haven't went ahead and put it out. Alright. Uh... We'll make an infinite water source here. We just need one barrel. Or two barrels. Two buckets. And that'll provide for this in here. Let's see, I'm, I'm looking at my timer. Hold on. Okay. Let's go over here. Uh, push. Nope. That doesn't have any barrels in it. Or buckets. I keep calling it barrels and it's not barrels. It's buckets. I need two of these. I didn't mean to take this down. But I accidentally did. But it's okay. Uh, put this up here. Put this down here. Did I get in? I don't think I got any wood. So let's take this. We're going to put this down over here. I think I just messed up that infinite water source. But we also want to go ahead and get uh, horses and everything so we're ready to go. Now, the horses I can't put in the keep, so I need to go ahead and put them in this area down here. Let's see. Put that there. Um, pure daisy. We're going to put that one right there, and we're going to put this one right here. So we need wood and other stuff we're going to put this right here for right now and it's basically we're, we're getting started we're even though we're like on what episode eight we're still relatively started on all this stuff because i've been digging like crazy now this right here ends up being ars magica which that's the next thing we're going to end up focus on is getting ars magica digging that way we can go ahead not waste any more materials and we can keep going on that.
Let's see, what did I come down here for? Glimmering, okay, I got those. And we're gonna place those outside. Oh, I need stone and... And wood. Here, give me wood. We'll take this oak. Surprisingly, I do end up running out of wood quite often, and I don't know why. All right, so we got two pure daisies, and it's always good to go ahead and get more materials and everything, and that's what we're trying to go ahead and do. Put these down. At least we got some of the flowers. Some of the stuff that we needed to go ahead and do, and some of the stuff that we need to go ahead and set up. For right now, this isn't the, the permanent spot for it, but it is going to be the spot at the moment. All right, so we're going to place these glimmering flowers out about, and they should go ahead and provide some light, so I don't have to worry about it. But the thing is, it has to have ground, so we got to go ahead and focus on that. I just put one, yeah, I'm going to put one over here. Because this little area is going to be where I end up setting up, just starting these mods. Before I go ahead and move on to the next part. But hopefully this is an ongoing series that I keep going until I crash. I don't want to crash, and I know there will be mods that are taken out and mods that are added, but... I would really like to go ahead and keep going as long as I can because I really like witchery and these I'm trying to go ahead and connect all these other mods into how it affects witchery so we have all these animals we don't have a chocobo and everything but we what we're gonna end up doing is we are gonna go ahead and explore a little bit out past our normal range well out past the walls and everything and that's mainly to go ahead and see if there's any animals that are the blocklings and stuff like that we can go ahead and tame. But the thing is, we're actually running out of space. I mean, we are completely running out of like area to go ahead and do certain things. But I would like to go ahead and get some of these animals to go ahead and at least that's not what I, I meant to hit the other one at least go ahead and survive so can I sleep I can't sleep all right let's go ahead and go and see I can do the tomahawk with the blade and I tell you what that comes in really handy whenever you're sitting there trying to go ahead and get stuff put that in there put that in there I don't think I have anything else okay we're gonna go outside and see if we can go ahead and get some of the stuff. We don't have any, I don't think we have any baubles at the moment. We need to get some baubles. Let's see. Page up. This is all crud that we can go ahead and drop off, but we can't drop off yet. And then this is weapons, which we probably need to go ahead and get some. Oh, the sun's about to go down. Hold on. I'll go ahead and rest real quick before we go out. But we need to go ahead and get certain aspects and certain items to go ahead and move up. How many times am I going to say go ahead and all that? It's interesting and really fascinating going back to 1.7.10. Because I forgot so much about the mods back here. And so it's like playing everything all new all over again which is great all right let's look at what we got over here okay so we're going to take down that building that's going to be the center we're going to take the rest of this building down and then this building's all these we're going to try to bring in these little hobgoblins So that should be interesting. And we're going to try to get all the villagers back to where I'm at. I'm not really concerned about the golems. I'll put those with the other guys. But we'll see. 
We want to get some tall grass while we're out here. I know we'll end up using it as we go along. Okay, that should be enough for right now. And then we want to go ahead and just look around for some of these guys that we want to go ahead and get. Oh, almost ran into that. And I don't know, I've got those, the creatures that are in my boxes. And they have a horn like a unicorn, but I don't know if they are a unicorn. So there is that. We want to get more of the Batania flowers too. I'm not seeing anything new, and I'm not seeing any of the block lanes anywhere. Which, on the map, they just show up as, you know, like, nothing's there. But they got a circle around it, like it's a mob. But what I'm going to end up doing between this episode and... Oh! Ow! Between this episode and the next, is I want to go ahead and... Um, slowly advance some of the other mods. So it's going to be a lot of me digging. And it's going to be a lot of me just getting resources and stuff. And I didn't want to record it. Oh, are you kidding me? I got one pickaxe. Let's put it where that is. But I wanted to go ahead and keep on going. And let's advance a little bit. But right now, the focus is I want to see, for instance, how much Batania ends up affecting Witchery. And then after that, how much Blood Magic ends up affecting Witchery. And then so on and so on. Uh, blood Magic, I figure, is going to be mixed with. Uh, what is it? Evil Craft a lot. Because of the blood. And I'm going to try to go ahead and use those. Now, in the Nortricity one that I am starting out, that I'm building now, it's going to have a lot of the same uh, mods and everything, but it's going to be a lot. I mean, it's the updated mods. So, therefore, it's a little bit different. But, like, a pig, he's got 44, 36. I mean, I need to be doing more damage. I need to be able to go ahead and knock him out once. I'm not going to end up hitting this. Just, I'm going to leave the spawner there. But I need to be hitting more damage per creature than I am. And this field is just, I mean, it's got a lot of um, red tulips, yellow tulips, white tulips, orange tulips. But that doesn't do me any good. I mean, it does me good for dye. But it doesn't do me good for what I need. And it's all about finding creatures and going ahead and finding out where the between lands ends up being. Now, I have enough stuff to go ahead and do the um, Lord of the Rings. And that would take me to a portal. But the last time I remember, and I'm not sure if it still is, but I'm pretty sure it still is. Is that once you generate it, it generates a giant ring and you can't move it. So I would like to have a room set up before I do that. Before I generate it. That's kind of what I want to do. I think I've already searched this one. I don't think there's anything in here. No. And when I get higher than a stone pickaxe, we'll come with and get one of those. Let's look at our map. Oh, J. I hit M. I hit M for map. All right, so we've explored over to the left a little bit. And it came a little bit right. There is a village down here. We're going to go straight to that and just see if there's anything over there. Which is not too far from what we are at right now. I think I've already raided everything in it. And I can't remember, but I could have swore... That I found a village that's surrounded by walls and everything. But I might be mistaken. Yeah, see that's already gone. Hmm. 
So, I mean, if I really need villagers... Oh, yeah, this was the, uh, the square that I ended up getting a whole bunch of creatures from. Or tombstones from. Tombstones from. Let's look at this again. All right, so if we go... We can go south or we can go north. I have no clue how I ended up way over in this far little section. I didn't think I went that way. But we're going to go straight south for a little bit more just to see if we can find it. A couple of the things. Now, I also one of my goals is to have it where when you get into my base, the only way you can get into my base is using one of the obelisks that I'll craft. That is my goal. That's what I would like to do, so I don't have to worry about anything else. Now, is that going to be possible? Yeah, it's possible. But like I said, this is supposed to be, it's going to be a slow moving mod pack focusing on the primary being witchery and then everything else is like what can affect witchery. But at the same time, I'm also getting my butt stumped like crazy because I haven't explored any more mods. And that's one of the reasons why I'm going to start uh, Blood Magic. Just so I can get a couple of the extra little things to the lava, what is it? I say lava lamp, but it's not lava lamp. It's the lamp. And I'm going to go ahead and take all this. The lamp and a couple of other things. I would like to go ahead and get the armor set up. So it can start kind of like buffing itself out. If you have any suggestions on which mod mods I should focus on. Considering this is um, 1.7.10, that ends up being quite a bit further than what we originally... My phone just went off. I was looking at it. Alright, so we're going to get this. This is going to get us XP that we can go ahead and turn into skills. That's the one thing it's good for at the moment. Which is not bad. I mean, because I go through coal like crazy. And anybody that plays Minecraft knows you, you go through it a, a lot. So you want to find a, a coal vein to go ahead and shoot through. Now, Nortricity, I think I am going to put main uh, vein miner. Just so I can progress a little bit faster. That is the idea, at least. And I'm still working on that. That little mod pack and everything. And I, I never release my mod packs. I, I tell you down below, this is what I'm using and everything. But I don't release the settings. I've never had a request for, hey, what are you using on this? So that's pretty much how I'm going to keep on doing it. I've only had one request for somebody to say, can you send me me your, like, your world and everything? And I just sent them, that to them personally. Now, I am going to go ahead and start focusing on uh, getting all the information for, what is it called? Oh, I'm starting to lag a little bit. I wonder if there's something around here. That's interesting. It might be new. It might be from the new mods I added in, which would be the Chocobos and just some other creatures that are around. What was it that I had a request for? I had a request quite a few for a couple of different things. And I can't remember off the top of my head what it ends up being. See, that looks like it's taint over there to the left. But it's not. So, and see, I like granite, smooth granite. And it's like nobody else likes it. I guess it's just me. I made a whole base out of it once. We're not finding anything that we need to find though at the moment. And that's not good. Oh. Lag rebound. Give me all this. Okay, we'll come back for that later. Um, let's see. We're getting towards night. I don't want to really sleep. 
but the zombies are like a hundred hit points so let's see uh page down no page up okay uh oh this one doesn't have a sleeping bag oh crap all right well this episode is going to be cut a little bit short because it's just me digging into the ground just to survive and i don't want to go ahead and keep you here to go ahead and have me wait but it's kind of going ahead and going over all the stuff that i have planned and all the stuff i want to do and kind of giving ideas but this series is going to probably end up going out quite often and then hopefully around episode 20 maybe maybe before i'll have nortricity back up and running but i'm trying to try different mods um i do have a lot of magic mods that i use quite often but i noticed that electro blobs uh witchery has or whatever it's called lecture blobs magica it has a lot of add-ons and i would like to add in all of those i tried to add it into this series and it just it didn't work it kept on saying that it was corrupted and it wouldn't work at all so i would like to add in a lot of those next time and i, I do want to play the new thumbcraft because i like the gauntlets and it feels like it adds a, a lot more but i don't feel like i dropped her off my phone I don't feel like um, I should go ahead and add Thromcraft into this because I don't know. I don't know if I should add it in just for the additions of stuff or skip it because it was just so hard back in this 1.7.10. So I'm still debating on that. But anyways, until next time, I'm Shikinort, and I shall catch you later.